So here we will use the uh, TV background, a demo for you to show how can we change the material. So first, you need to change the border side. Just pay attention on the right side. Yeah, the, we have the index, for example, to control the distance floor. Of course, when you put it here first onto the wall, it's definitely in the air. So change to zero. It means touching down to the ground. And also, you can see here we do have the lens, width, and height. Uh, of course, you can change accordingly to use the uh, the, the the sliding dot. But you see here, it better unlock the scale because here you can directly change. You won't be interfered by the other index. For example, first zero to touch into the uh, boundary. And on the other side here, if you have any gap, you can definitely holding down the middle one and then to drag to put into the position. Of course, in 3D, you can check about the height. Since you unlock the scale, now you can use the scale and then to change independently. You don't have to worry about the height, the other index that affect the, uh, the height. So, of course, here you can see we can still leave a gap for the ceiling, but mainly here is fine for the size. Then we turn to the material editor, and here you can change the material. But this mode, uh, at this time, we would like to show you that it's not only to change with the preset material, but on the upper side, you can see the real time material create, creating the create editors. So, once you want to create those elements, you can click this button. Yeah. And then there will be a kind of uh, material editor, but you can directly see the result according to the uh, operation. For example, this time I want to change, I want to use the format. These are the formats. I want to use a uh, wood format, for example. I just need to click. Okay. And then here it actually shows the result. And then you just need to choose whatever you want. So here you can control by all the elements. For example, you can upload as the for the debut, also known as the text or pattern. You can directly upload. And for other index, for example, reflection, refraction, grossness, and the bomb, they are all settled to specifically control the result. So you can change, for example. Uh, let's take a look at the reflection. Here, the brightness means uh, how it works according to the lights. For example, here, higher or lower, and the reflection grossness, how clear it is. Okay, you can see as I changing the different index, or raise up the index, you can see it will have a more like a polished effect. On the other side, it's something like the matte, or there is uh, really with the uh, not so polished viewing, so you can see here and also take a re uh, another review for the different uh, results. Then you can have the proper result to you whatever you want. And also don't forget, we can sync to bump map, which means actually you can have the same pattern not only in diffuse but also like for the bumping by the simply stitch the function. It means continually on every angle. The patterns, yeah, you don't have you, you can avoid some of the, uh, the, the, the boundaries. Just pay attention about this kind of a function, and then after save, for example, give the name, and the size actually stay with the same in the reality. For example, one thousand times one thousand or so much. So you can just type in accordingly, and of course, the last thing and the very important is the catalog, the render catalog, you can select to different segment, but if you want to use for the entire cases, including finishings and furnishing, you select the last one, the furniture, okay, the furnishing, the furnishing material, you can select this one, then you can use all over the case, okay, uh, including the furnishing and finishing. After that, you can save one in mind, you can click, after finished, you can directly click to use. Okay, it will take a, a few seconds. Okay, and then what you need to do is just still to select the area. Now we have that. Okay, click mine. 
and then click the wood. Now you can change according to your preference. On the upper right side, you can you, on the right side you can see we can change the horizontal scaling or other things. And after click finish, you can have all the elements you can see here. And of course, you can use, still use the material brush to have this pattern to more over. It's not only for the uh, more models. You can see even for this moment, if I want to go the pattern to the wall, the furnishings, it's still available. We can take a look. 